up everybody welcome to uh sorry about the wind welcome to a modification slash upgrade brake addition to keeping a crusty i actually filmed a video maybe two days ago two or three days ago i changed the front brake from a 180 to a 203 millimeter rotor that's the video you're about to watch but a couple things happened since then so i just wanted to put this little up update in so first of all I'm gonna do a quick stop. You can see my brakes are as quiet as can be. Brakes haven't been this quiet since 3,000 and some miles ago. I had about 2,000 miles of quiet brakes and then after that started, um, I'm at a little over 5,000 miles now. So maybe 3,000 plus miles of squeakiness. So to have no squeakiness in my brakes is awesome. I'll show you again here and then we're going to get right on to the to the modification video i don't want to spend too much time since this is like a this is a repair slash mod video and i don't want to i want to get right to the point but this is kind of relevant so you see we got no squeak i'm going to show you something real quick no squeak at all it's amazing to show you really fast and then then we're going to cut right into the the mod here but before i do that i just wanted to show you this at uh, the end of the video that you're about to watch i wasn't too sure if the modification worked but after riding a few more miles they broke in nice and they are super super quiet as you can see i hope it lasts i do hope it lasts now i did my back brakes as well that's not in the video that you're about to watch the back brakes were kind of a pain. I had the same adapter that I used for the front. For some reason, when I put the adapter on the right way for the front, the brake caliper was too far out. So it was like barely catching the rotor. So what I did was I, um, where this is supposed to be up, I just flipped it around, put this one down. And I had to put all these washers in to kind of make it work. Uh, I did get it to work pretty good. I think I have most of the brake pad touching the rotor here. I didn't put that modification on here because it was kind of a pain and I don't know how right it is or you know if it's proper or not. I did get it to work, but it seems like it's working. Um, I don't know. I, I've, that's kind of a, a modification at your own risk. Maybe if I find the proper adapter, I might do it again. It just doesn't seem like this adapter worked for the back as well as it worked for the front because it's the exact same one. That being said, my brakes are super quiet. As of now, I'm super happy. Um, all right, let's get into the repair video and you can see me change the front rotor. And like I said, at the end of the video that you're about to watch, I was a little unsure if the modification worked because they were still a little bit loud in the front. I hadn't done the back yet. But after riding it for a few miles, everything quieted up really nicely in the front. And, you know, after doing the back off camera, uh, that's nice too. So we're quiet, man. Let's hope this lasts. Oh, happy Easter too. It's Easter, Easter Sunday. Hope everybody's doing well, staying safe out there and uh, keeping a Kresge out. Thanks for stopping by Hyper Scrambler too. Later y'all. Hey, what's up everybody? Here we go. I was just telling you about the, uh, the upgrade today. Uh, this is the 203 millimeter rotor we're gonna try and utilize for the brake rotor uh, enhancement, I guess you could say, going from the 180 millimeter to the 203. So, well, first let me, let me pop this out. You can get these a lot cheaper. Um, I went to uh, a bike shop in Abington, PA called Sicklers really nice people super informative so because they helped me out give me a lot of information i was thinking about getting another kind of like a gravel bike they call just for some you know expanding my uh my bike horizon if you will they gave me a lot of information so i ended up getting this for them i'm sure you can get you know amazon two or three millimeter rotor for a lot cheaper than that but since the, the gentleman was really nice i wanted to support his local shop so i got this one These usually come with uh, extra torque screws. These are T25 size. Here's the here's the rotor. 
Uh, let me get a 180 millimeter rotor and you can see the size difference. See quite a difference in size. I don't want to mess up the new rotor so I don't want to touch it too much but there we go. There's the 180 millimeter to the 203. Quite a difference. So I actually I deleted my Facebook like a year or two ago but I just re-signed on because uh, I missed the Juice Bike mod group and the Juice Bike owners group for all this information. So this is the one that everybody seems to be using on the Juice Bike group. I'll, I, I'll put a link. I don't have a link to the rotor because I got it at a bike shop, but any 203 millimeter rotor with six bolts should be fine um, if you look on Amazon. But this is I'll put a link for this adapter if it works. This is the one I got that says that it should work. I hope this one works. It was taking forever for it to ship and uh, I didn't know if I was going to get it in time. I really wanted it for Saturday so I actually ordered another one from a different seller. They're exactly the same. Oh, sorry about the shaky camera there. So yeah, these are exactly the same. I just ordered from a different seller. I knew one was going to be here in time and they actually both ended up coming at the same day. So like I said, I have no idea how to install this. We're going to do that together, figure it out and uh, hopefully it works. And then I'm going to put new brake pads on the front. Now, we're only going to do the front for now. I might have a problem with the back because when, when you put this adapter on, it moves your brake caliper out further to accommodate the larger rotor. The back brake cable, or the hydraulic brake cable, I don't know if that can stretch out long enough. So, you know, it has, it's the back brake cable is in a certain spot. And I don't know if I put a new caliper on, if it's going to be able to stretch the caliper out to the distance it needs to go to go on a new rotor. So, I don't know. Let's go get this on. We'll try and we'll try to figure this out. And hopefully we, uh, we get it this time. So, all right, uh, let's head outside, get this set up and um, wish us luck. All right, see you in a minute. First things first, while the bike's on its kickstand, we're going to remove these or just loosen them. You have to use the one, uh, use this wrench on here. At, so you're basically loosening at the same time. We'll finger loosen that. This a bunch of times. Loosen this. This could be it, guys. This could be the end of my squeaky brakes. I like to pull up this, pull on this brake uh, cable just to get the caliper out of the way while we mess with the tire here. I just pull up, uh, I pull up on this cable, slides through here, just keeps the caliper out of the way while we're messing with everything else for now. Anybody's ever wondering, um, hopefully you can see this. There are t uh, these, there's two, si two sizes on these, one, this one washer. There's two sizes. Uh, the thick one goes, or the thin one, the thin one goes on the side with the rotor. That would go like that, and the thick one goes on the uh, opposite side. Now I've taken these bolts out so many times, <laughs> they're starting to strip. So I really hope it doesn't strip on me here. Okay, nice. No, no stripping. rotor okay we're gonna put a dabble of a uh, loctite on here just make sure nothing moves you don't need a lot just a little on the threads and there's usually some kind of directional arrow on here make sure you point in the rotation of the 
the way that the uh, tire spins too. So new rotor on. Looks good. Snug these down. Loctite. All right, let's put the tire back on and figure out how to put this adapter on. So there's a little trick here. Um, so this axle just is kind of floating in there. So what I do is I try to make sure that it's sticking out the same distance on each side. And say this side was sticking out more, what I'll do is I'll leave the nut off that side. I'll screw this nut on a little bit. And if you turn it, it'll pull the nut over here. So I kind of just do that back and forth. It looks like we're just about centered. So when I see that it's the way that I like, I can't really film this. What I'll do is I'll put this right to where it stops. I won't pull, won't do it tough. And I'll do the other side right to where it stops. And then I kind of tighten both at the same time. And this way it'll hold it in that center position. Also too, if you saw how I was lifting up the wheel, I'll put these, uh, these two wrenches back here, kind of shove them under the tire. This way, this way when I'm lifting up the front of the bike to put the wheel on, the bike won't roll back and cause like everything to get out of alignment. Cause a lot of times like I'll, I'll be lifting up this part of the bike and then the bike will start to roll back and then it's super hard to get the front tire on and then those washers fall it's like a big pain in the butt so if you pop those two little uh and this is these are what came with the bike when i take the front wheel off i just slide that one under there and i'll slide that one under there and this way it kind of holds that back tire in place while you're lifting up the front fork to put the tire on just a little pro tip um helps helps a lot Okay, so it took me a minute to figure out the screw combo here. So what I did was to hold this bracket on like so. I just used the one bolt that came with it shorter. You can't use the original ones here because they're too long. So use a shorter bolt here. That's the uh, combo I used. So now I'm just tightening this up. Very difficult to do to keep my arms out of the way here. All right, so guys, it's the same thing. Uh, you squeeze this brake in, and as you're squeezing this brake in, you hold that brake. And while you're holding that brake lever, 
you uh, tighten these bolts up fully. So it's just hard for me to film that. So I'm going to shut the camera off. I'm going to hold in that brake lever. As I'm holding it in, tighten these. And then once these are tight, you can let go of the lever. Uh, I have a brake change video if you want to see more on that. I'll, I'll put the episode I'll put the episode number up so you can find it easy. All right, almost finished. All right, so adapter is on. Uh, looks pretty cool actually. 203 millimeter rotor. It does look like I might be able to do the same mod on the back. Uh, I just don't have a rotor yet, so. It's just the back wheel is super hard to take off. Not super hard, but it's just a pain because uh, I have to like lift the bike up on a couple chairs and it's 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 challenging. So, all right, there's the mod. Looks pretty cool. Thanks to the um, Juiced Mod guys on Facebook and the Juiced Facebook owner groups. Uh, they got they put me a link to that. So I'll throw the link up that I used. I don't know if anybody gets any money on it. I don't, but hey, the uh, priceless era. Knowledge is priceless. So if somebody gets a little something, that's fine. All right, we're going to go for a little test drive, and hopefully this works. I got the batteries charging. It's always good to take the batteries off when you're working on the bike. Not only is it lighter, um, that's basically it's just lighter. I doubt you'd get any kind of short or anything, but it's just way lighter to maneuver and such. So... All right, let me clean up, go for a little ride, set these brakes in and see what happens. 203 millimeter rotor from, from the 180. 180 millimeter to 203. All right, let's hope this works. Sorry guys, I know this is a uh, how to fix video, but she wants to say hi to you guys. There you go. A little visit from Allie. Guys, we're on the uh, test run. This is the good testing grounds here. And oh my God, dare I say, I got a little like rub down there on my pads. Dare I say, the squeak on my front rotor is gone. My front brake is not squeaking. that was a success and I am ordering a 203 millimeter rotor for the back here's the back backs aren't as loud they never were quite as loud oh yeah listen to those things never mind but my fronts I'm gonna adjust them a little bit but I can get a rotor off Amazon for 25 bucks a 203 millimeter so I'm doing it well Still got some noise, but it's, you know what? It's for the braking power too. I feel like the brakes are a lot better. not as annoyingly loud I still do get a little squeal as you can hear but 
the brakes feel a lot more sensitive, but in a good way. So would I call this a success? I would say kind of. The stopping power is definitely better. Am I going to do the rear ones? Yes. Yeah, I'm going to do the rear ones for sure. Definitely going to do the rear ones. Yeah, definitely. I like it. Rear ones are loud. I'm going to order a rear 203 millimeter rotor when I get home. Yeah, I think they're 25 bucks. And uh, I think that should work. All right, I hope I helped you decide on getting a rotor upgrade. Like I said, it's not completely quiet, but here's the rear. And here's the fronts, now that I switched them. Better, I guess that's for you to decide. I think it's a little bit better. For the price on the upgrade and the better stopping power, I think it's worth it. So, all right guys, thanks for coming along to Keeping It Kresge, appreciate you. Thanks for the support and stay tuned for the next video. Everybody ride safe and we'll see you out there on the road. Until then, peace. Way quieter, definitely worth the upgrade.